Nope, you're not seeing double. Elizabeth Warren has finally met her match. Her doppelganger, Stephanie Oyen, popped up at her rally in Minnesota and caused mass confusion. Hundreds of people that were staring at me and shouting and trying to get my photos. Even after I said it wasn't her, some, some people said, well, this is probably the closest we're going to get and no one's going to know the difference anyway. <laughs> so. She says the senator was blown away by the resemblance. She just quickly looked me up and down and kind of pointed at me and just said, we need to talk. And Joe Biden is raising eyebrows today after he made another major gaffe. He got the dates of Robert F. Kennedy and Dr. Martin Luther King's assassinations wrong, really wrong. When Bobby Kennedy and Dr. King had been assassinated in, in the 70s, uh, late 70s, when I got engaged. RFK and Dr. King were both killed in 1968. Never, it comes on the heels of his flub at the last was. debate when he messed up his me, website. Go to Joe 30. Three, three, oh. Now, some are questioning whether life. old Thank age is catching much. up to him at 76. His former neurosurgeon, Dr. Neil Cassell, is speaking yeah. out to Inside uh, Edition. Geez. Is there something going wrong upstairs? No, I think he's in excellent health, both physically and mentally. Dr. Cassell operated on Biden after he suffered two brain aneurysms in 1988. There was no evidence of damage to his brain from the surgery. And in subsequent scans he had after the surgery, his brain was absolutely normal. Well, we all make misstatements. He just does it more frequently.